All right, with this type of question, we could get different versions. And what they do is they give you a notation, a statement, and then you have to match the sketch to what it says up there. And there's two parts. There's the first part where they give you the boundaries, and then you have to match it up on the horizontal axis. And you also have to make sure you put the area where it's supposed to be, either to the left of a value, to the right, or between, or it could be in outer two regions, out in the tails. And then part B is when they give you the area instead, and you have to figure out what the boundary should be. And this is the more challenging part. But let's try first with just a less than symbol, which is the probably the easiest way to start here. Okay, so this part, this version of the question has on part A, the probability that Z will be greater than 0.9. So I choose right, shade to the right of the value because of the greater than symbol. And then the Z score is 0.9, so I just need to move this to positive 0 0.9. That one's done. The second part says, probability that z is less than some unknown value equals 0.35. So the probability is 0.35. So we know that's the area of the shaded region. And the region will be shaded to the left because we have a less than symbol. So this is already selected on left. And then we'll move this where we think it'll probably be. Now, an area of 0.35 is less than half. So I know it's going to be on the left side somewhere, but I want to know specifically what that z-score is. So I'm going to use Excel to help me do that. Okay, so here I have prepared a place for um, using my given area. I'm going to have to think about whether it's a left area, a right area, or a between area. In this example, it's a left area, and the area is 0 0.35. Now, my left area is already fine. I don't have to subtract it from 1 or do anything else. Uh, so I can go ahead and use that area with norm.inverse, which requires the left-sided probability, left-sided area, and then the mean and the standard deviation. For z-scores, the mean is always 0, and the standard deviation is always 1. So now I have the z-score boundary. And for this problem, they're rounding to one decimal place. That's not typical for z-scores. But just for this problem, I'm going to go ahead and set this up to round to one decimal place. OK, so there's my z-score boundary. So now I've set this thing up so that um, as I get different problems, I can keep using it, different versions. OK, so now I'll move this to negative 0.4. OK, so that one was good. Now let's find another one that's a little bit more challenging. OK, so here's a new version. And this one says, sketch the region uh, for the probability that z is less than negative 2.2. So I want to make sure it's selected on left of the value and then go to negative 2.2 on here. Okay, so that was easy, but the second part is more challenging because now we're given a between probability. So our area is going to be between two values and the area is 0.9. That's almost 1. So I know that the region um, under the curve is going to be almost all. Almost all of the area under the curve will be shaded. And I also know that the, the, the boundaries are going to be negative, one negative and one positive, um, and that they have the same distance from zero because they're kind of twins of each other, just opposite signs. So using my little spreadsheet here, I have a between area this time and it was given as 0.9. Now my left area is not 
0.9, that's the area in between. My left area is this little left tail that's white over here. So to figure out what that is, I can subtract the inner area from 1, and that'll give me the total area that's left in the outer tails. But since I only want the left tail, I'll divide that in half. So we'll take 1 minus the given area and then divide it in half. So that gives me an area of 0 0.05 in the left tail, which corresponds to a z-score using norm.inverse again with the left area. I get negative 1.6. So this I can move to negative 1.6 and then this one to positive 1.6. And that's it.